What's going on guys, it's Water back with another video and today is going to be the first episode of Random Fridays and I'm not going to have Red with me today because he's moving houses so he does not currently have Wi-Fi but the game I'm going to be playing is called Realm of the Mad God and this game is actually very old, it's probably like 6 years old I've been playing it for a very long time as so you can see all my characters and I'm probably gonna die and then when you die in this game you lose your character forever basically and it's basically just like an RPG where you can like make characters and level them up and stuff and there's different classes and stuff like that and the main goal is you wanna really hit level 20 and then defeat this guy named Orcs so what should I play on? I don't really care about this character, so I'll play on my sorcerer. Oh wow, what the heck? Let me fix my settings quick. Um, this should be T. Let's see, it's been a very long time since I played this game, and if you want to see me and Red play it make sure to so show support and I could probably get him to play it okay this should be good I think alright so basically you normally spawn here and this game is very pay to win so you want to ignore everything that's popping up on the screen and then I probably should be playing on a new character but I didn't have any spots and then like you can get items and put them in here in your vault buy in big sweat so I have lots of chests and here's my pet which heals me to keep me alive okay I'm gonna get into a realm now. This server is quite dead, so I'm gonna go to a more packed one. Let's see. This one should be pretty full. Or not. Is this game dead? I hope not. Oh, rip is correct. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm gonna go in the realm, and they appear to all be full. Wow. Uh, okay, I'm gonna cut to once I get in. Okay, I finally got into the realm. And now what you wanna do well, if you're really low level, you want to fight these guys, but once you hit level 20, which is the max level, you go over into the place that's called the Godlands and fight things. And the main point of this game, or one of the main points of this game, I guess, is to max your stats, which is like all of these you get different potions and it takes a ton to max them out and you do more damage and your character moves faster and stuff and then yeah and I'm just gonna kill these guys and I got a pot actually which is pretty good oh oh no I'm gonna die <laughs> oh this is not good this game may look very confusing at first but like once you play it enough you'll pretty much know what everything is and it actually can be pretty fun at times I have to watch my health here and then eventually once you kill enough of these guys they're gonna drop a portal which you can go into and fight other monsters and get a chance at different weapons and upgrades for your wand or your sword or whatever you're using 
or you also each character has an ability so like I'm using the sorcerer which this thing basically it hits all those guys that's that orange thing you're seeing it does damage to like all people in a group and it, it's pretty good for getting pots and stuff and I'm gonna go in here okay so this dungeon has tiles that make your character move which can be kind of annoying but none of these guys really do a lot of damage so it should be quite easy if I can even get to him oh he got paralyzed so he cannot move come on Oh, I'm not going to get a drop, am I? Okay, so I got a dexterity potion. And I never really talked about what these things do. And basically, if you get like eight of them or a good amount of them, you can just turn them in and get certain rewards. That can be okay, I guess. Here's a special event quest right here. You can kill him and he'll drop. He sometimes will drop like very rarely the best some of the best items in the game. This guy drops a shield that ignores armor of these guys and anybody. Okay, so let me teleport a little bit of a leg. Okay. Imagine I get the white bag. So what the white bag is, is like most bosses in the game will have a certain, like, what's it called? Uh, untiered weapon and it will basically do like different effects like this one is untiered like see the UT in the corner it can it slows enemy as well as it hits like a lot of guys at one time like seven it hits and it also does very low MP cost so it's one of the best uh, what are these things called scepters in the game okay I'm gonna go in here. It would be awesome if I actually got a white bag in one of these dungeons. Not that I really need it or anything, but would be cool. Holy cow, this place is packed. Jeez. I think I just got destroyed. Oh, it's just a mark. And oh, there's a hermit. I've never gotten the the special weapon from this guy, and I think it's one of the rarest in the game. I think if you hit these, it increases your chance, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Am I even shooting? I don't usually play in full screen, because I just don't like the way it looks, and it makes me lag more, but... I don't think I got anything. Okay. And this is basically the entire game. You just, people sit here at the spawn and wait for the guy to rush. So this might take a minute. Okay guys, so after I did that trench, I forgot to click recording, so I may have just lost a little bit of footage. But that's okay, because now I'm back into the realm. And hopefully I did click recording this time. 
but if I didn't, then you wouldn't be seeing this. So, does that make sense? And this is probably one of the hardest bosses in the game. Because there is a guy who just comes randomly out of nowhere. I have gotten the cloak that drops from this guy, and that is scary. Yeah, that guy right there that you just saw pass across my screen super fast does a ton of damage. And he can kill you very, very quickly. But if you just, if you know the shot patterns to this, it's quite easily. But unfortunately, I don't know the shot patterns to this. So I'm just scrambling randomly. And oh my gosh, I almost just got set on by that thing. Oh, this is so hard. I really don't want to die. I like the best armor you can have for this class. There's a lot of shots going on. Some of them do a lot of damage. Some of them don't do a lot of damage. Okay, this one's pretty easy. Unless you get paralyzed. But he should be almost dead. Very nerve-wracking. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just ate everything. Somebody please kill him. These do a lot of damage, I know. And I can't... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Holy cow, that was so bad. For a speed pot, too. Okay. Kill that. Switch swords quick. Just kill all of these guys. This is mostly the main part of the game. Is just killing these gods. It's a good way of getting potions. And it's a good way of leveling up and stuff. And they drop portals that will give you... Lots of good stuff. Some of the best items in the game. Alright, I'm going to go in here. This is one of the lowest level dungeons in the game. And I don't know why it's not loading. But the only thing scary in this dungeon are these guys who do a lot of damage. Why is nothing loading? And this game is completely free. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it is free. You don't have to pay a dime. I don't know why I'm lagging so much. Okay, I'm just going to cut to when I'm actually at the boss fight. Okay, I finally made it to the boss. Let's see if I can take him out quickly. A couple stuns. I missed that one, I think. Maybe I got him, though. Okay, and he should be dead after this phase. Okay, got a blue bag. And if you're on a max character, you can see how fast you get potions in this game. Like, even though it does take, like, 40 defense potions to max, like, a knight, you can do it pretty quickly. If you're doing the right things. Okay, I'm going to do this event, which is at one time the hardest event in the game. But like now everybody knows how to do it. It's super easy. Just want to dodge these orange shots. They do very bad effects. They make you basically confused and blind at the same time. And that is not very good because they do a lot of damage too. want to kill these eyeball thingies should be on our way he's immune to stun too so most events are actually some of them aren't but I wonder why people are sh shouting bunny I thought that was an uh, Easter thing but yeah, you can see how you can get to Orcs' castle. I'm probably going to save that for another episode, but you just got to kill 25 events or quests, 
and you would be there. You would not ideally want to do him on a night either. Oh, crystal. I want to do this. Then I'll come back to that avatar. Just stun him a couple times. Stun him a couple times. Oh, oh. Stun him a couple times. And. This pot went to my backpack. And this should be the avatar. I got nothing because I missed it. Oh. Okay, I'll do this event too. This is a very scary event too because it can jump right on you and kill you. And it also confuses these things too. Or no, they just slow. Sorry, haven't played this game in a minute. HP potions. You have to kill all these little eyeballs before you can do damage to them. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. That a heart rate monitor. That would not be good. Just see what I mean? You can just jump right on you unexpectedly. And I don't think we have enough damage to be doing this guy. Because I don't want to lose my character. So I'm just going to look for another dungeon. Oh, now everybody's there. Right? There's like a good amount of people here. Okay, I think we can do damage to him now. Somebody... Uh, oh, now we can. Oh, I got slowed. And he goes back into this phase. Which is kind of annoying. But that's okay. I'm going to switch these to my backpack. Oh, no. That is not a good idea to stand still. Oh, what the heck? I did not know that happened in the final phase. I think they updated that since last time I played. Oh, my gosh. Can't even really figure out what's happening right now. And he is dead. Character I'm on is super OP. I almost get a drop everywhere. Okay, I think that's going to conclude it for this video on the first episode of Random Fridays. Make sure to com comment what you want us to play next because Red will be here for the next one. It won't just be me. And... Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and see you in the next one.